Hey guys, welcome back to another Assassin's Creed. I am Prophet to the Beal. Uh, sorry, Assassin's Creed 3, rather, not just the original Assassin's Creed, or 2, or 2A, or 2B, or 2C, or not 2C. No, this is a 3. And uh, we, I guess, in the last episode, found out that Hatham, who he really is. Roll. The time has passed, the child grew inside of me. See, here's where I get a bit lost in this game. <sighs> this is where we start getting into all these... I mean, the rest of this game, all these people talked in English. In all the other games, everyone just spoke English. No matter if we're in Italy, if we're in, you know, the old Arabic... Arabia, Arabic countries, what? where were we in the first one? Budapest, I think? And now we get here, and we're stuck reading freaking subtitles for a good, uh, I don't know, a good portion of, you know, this, this bringing Connor into the storyline. It's just all, like, translate subtitles of how we're doing. She doesn't look very pregnant. But, you know what? Her and Hatham got it on, and that's all it takes is one time, kids. Remember, no gloves, no love. And, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say any more about that, because that's just not my place to talk about that. So, moving along. Sequence 4. I cannot pronounce where we are, but we're in seven, 1760. And I'm assuming that her son is now how old? 10, maybe? This has been a decade. Hey, look at me! Really? Oh dear God. Really? What she just said there was, huh? What are you up to? She said two words. Peace out, moms. Stay in the valley, kiddo. She used to be this person that was always all out for herself, and now it's all a kid's in the forest. Uh, she used to be all out for herself, and now it's living in a community with a bunch of people that I don't think were even part of that battle that we did with against Branigan with Hatham and we're fighting people and we're whatever. Why am I dressed different from all the other kids? Doggy. Hey, dog. Yeah, all these kids are dressed the same, except for me. Oh, where am I going? Sorry, kiddo. Running into people. Let's see, where are we going? Um, Going forwards. Actually, no, me and my friend are the only two dressed differently. All the other kids look identical. It's like they just cloned the same outfit and just rewrote it onto the same people, onto different people. Take care, children. Don't leave the valley. Don't worry, old man. I'll go where I want to go. Uh, ooh, look at that. See, I got my assassin sense. Even as a child, I was an assassin. Assassino. I'm gonna kill these kids. With, uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any weapons. I don't even have sleeves. Little stone villages. What are they talking about? I wasn't paying attention to those kids. Oh, I think they were talking about like regular people that live in like what they call stone villages aka buildings oh look at that we're playing hide and seek oh my god see here's the problem if they were gonna play this this stupidity that we're doing now this is how the game should have started I've been playing for what like four hours already five hours and I'm just in like now it's like they're taking me back and gonna reteach me how to play the game. This is the fundamental issue that I have with this game. I think once we get back because now I'm doing all sorts of other things here. Let's analyze clues. Hayden didn't do none of this shit. Um See it's like they're trying to teach me how to be like a tracker. Find all children within given time. All right. Oh, look at that grass looks bad. Uh, here's what I want to know. Who actually mows the grass here? 
Because look how flat it is. Like there's some patches of like wildlife that's a little bit higher, but like there's like regular mowed spots of grass. Ugh. And see, basically this mechanic here is what we're going to use to track animals. <laughs> that dude was not hiding very well. Dude was just sitting there. Um, analyze clue. See, I, that's my problem. We were so used to running around, killing people, and um, search zone up there, and being, you know, Hatham just as a badass, and now we're reduced to playing as a kid. And there's just something fundamentally wrong with, uh, ooh, in here? How do I know? Because I followed your clues, kiddo. Oh my god. Oh, this is annoying. Alright. Um, clue. There we go. Straight ahead. I'm coming. Coming to get ya. Mm -hmm. uh, so narrowed. Uh, so what was I? Wait, does that mean they're here? Uh, it's a fox. What did that fox say? Uh, oh, I guess I made a mistake. I should have followed more clues before guessing where somebody was. I thought that it said interact. That's the fact that that's where they were. Sh we should look for shells. Is there water around here? I got beach where I can find shells. I'm not seeing any more uh, tags. Come on. Interact. Yes, you here? There we go. Alright. Um, yeah, so, uh, I just don't really like this. I mean, this, this should be... An, this really should have been the beginning of the game. Forget the whole hate them nonsense. You know, they want to like, they should have done, if anything, let us do this first. Let this dude grow up, start playing as him, and then do maybe flashbacks into the Hatham storyline to give us an idea of you know, how him and Hatham, how his mama and Hatham met, if that even matters. I think they were trying to do that whole big Templar reveal and... To be quite honest, yeah, 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 kiddo, your turn. To be quite honest, I don't really care about any of this Oscar, stuff. Degeny, Oscar, Oscar, Kilo, Deary. Mike, Templar, Sorcerer. Um, so do I not have a anything I have to do? I just gotta hide. Hide anywhere? I'm gonna go as far away as I can. Forty, fifty. Let's go to the fifty. Run! Run, Samus, run! Um, um, doesn't sound good. I don't know what that sound was, but it did not sound good. Hey! Don't you want to touch kids? What have we here? Why are these idiots picking on kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Charlie Lee and all his little band of merry men. Is this supposed to be some like big, you know, moment of climatic scene? The fact that now Charlie Lee's over here messing with Hatham's son. Familiar. Where have I seen you before? Oh, there is no bloody way I look familiar to you, Dick. That wasn't very nice. Listen to that. He knows English. Small for savage. He's spirited too. We have questions for your elders. Do you? So go down to the village. Villages, boy, and you can go. Are you guys seriously that stupid? Best do as he asks, child. I could snap your neck, you know. A little more pressure. And why is this guy such a? Uh, 
a horrible person. You are okay, we've been running around for the past few hours with Charlie Lee, and, and he was never so violent towards children. children. He was never so violent towards anyone. He was a fairly nice guy. the shape of the future. They throw themselves at our feet and beg mercy. Oh man, this game. Not you, it seems. Now, you Can we get past this part, please? Desperately to your ways, too ignorant to know your folly. Why do you care but so I'm much? Really? You're gonna choke me and out and so say you're not I unkind? That you may carry word to your people. Let them know the sooner we are given what we seek, the sooner you can return to your pathetic, empty lives. What are you going train, on about? What is your name? <laughs> Charles Lee. Why do you ask? Yeah, because so that's I not can a joke. you. Really? Because again, Charlie Lee <laughs> is a super generic name. I look Kid, to you're gonna get your ass killed. And you're gonna deserve it too. Oh, come on! That would kill a kid. You choked him out and hit him with the butt of a rifle. Okay, these guys are a hundred meters away from the village and need to beat up on a kid to figure out let's just walk down the hill some more and we'll find the damn village for ourselves and we don't have to beat any kids because really that is the ultimate thing let's just abuse this poor kid who's playing with his yeah! friends that's right you'll know in some foreign tongue because that's gonna make it better uh, how hard is it to find this place it's freaking huge, and it's made out of wood. And it's in a village. Um, oh, I gotta find my mom. Lots of fire. Going this way. Under. Oh, why can't I just go under it? Why do I have to be Superman and move it? Look how much space there was for me to slide under that. Game mechanics. You are the bane of me. Oh, now I can roll. Dude, move! You're supposed to be finding your mother. Oh, I can go under that. I know, I'm... Sorry, guys. I know I'm complaining a bit about this game, but this is... This is one of the bits that I, I, I find annoying about this game. In here, you're in there. I'm coming, Mama. 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 Um, lots of flame. Even more flame. Uh, how am I? Am I supposed to go over this? No. Well, let me climb over that. Over the building, maybe. Okay, this is not clear where I'm supposed to go. Oh, okay. I gotta come all the way out here. Take the long way around. Well, that's convenient. Where are you, kid? Or girl? Lady. Don't worry, I can do it. Why am I leaving you? Come on, I can do it. I lifted that other thing. Shut up, lady. It's not too late. I can do it. I'm strong. What happened? Did I get it? What is she giving me? What's going on? You're gonna be forever at my side. Always and forever. Oh, it's tragic. What the hell? Why couldn't this dude help my mother? Dude comes over and grabs me and can't help her up? Seriously? I almost had the damn planks out of the way. See, this is stupid game stuff. Nine years later. 
So nine years have now passed, and I guess now I'm officially a uh, an Indian, Native American. I don't know why I keep saying Indian. Native American. Is that better? The clan mother. Is this my same fat friend from earlier? Oi. Excuse me, I'm tired today. Oh, I thought I'm tired today. It's still morning. Mm, right, trigger to free run through. See, once again, learning new mechanics in this game. I am like 10 hours into the. Oh, not 10 hours into this game. I actually don't know how many hours I've been playing this. But I've been playing this a long time. And they're introducing new mechanics now? Is that better, fat boy? Oh my god. Can we stop talking about this stupidity? Oh dear god. I'm tempted to skip this stupidity. I'm just gonna talk over it. So, we've got Christmas coming up. Um, I was kind of looking forward to playing Unity, but after the reviews and just the, the piss poor performance that it's supposed to be getting on the PC, I don't think I'm going to be playing Unity. Uh, I do have 4, Assassin's Creed 4, I may end up playing that after this. Well, I mean I did want to play Unity and I, I might maybe next year get it on some Steam sale for like 10 bucks. God knows the price now is falling. But that between that and the uh, new um, what game is it? The new Call of Duty. Fair warning, when I play Call of Duty, I play single player. Mm -hmm. Anything I post on my channel is not gonna be like a multiplayer Call of Duty stuff because that's not how I roll. I'm the loser that likes to play by himself. <laughs> yes, I play by himself. Yes, I did say that. That's not right. Oh god, how did I fall out of the goddamn tree? And now I'm hitting an invisible wall. Oh. Come on. Yeah, you can you can run, you know. Um Where is the Yes, because in case you're wondering, I am a perfectionist. I hate this stupid mechanics that's going to make me fall out of a tree for no reason. See, I land and I can move. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, my single playerness. Yeah, I play a lot of these games and I, I mean, I never touch the multiplayer versions of a lot of these games. Why? Well, mainly because I don't have any friends to play online with. <laughs> but, uh... Come on. Where are you? Catch up. Mm. Oh, there was a safe one. Okay. I was trying to figure out if that was actually a safe place to jump or not. Oopsie daisy. Lemon squeezy. Leap! Whee! Mm, next spot. One of these things is I not like the other. Is that rock gonna count as touching ground? Oh, Freaking idiots. Can, can you turn? This fat guy's an idiot. Oh, what kind of... I need to come help you because you couldn't just walk Yo. to the shoreline. This dude is like, fuck, oh, come on. <sighs> that was annoying as shit. And no, I'm not restarting it again. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the mechanics in this shit are fickle as hell. And it's not like they're always fickle. Sometimes they work great. Look, look, look at me. I'm moving like a quick, quick little bunny. 
I'm doing my bunny hops and oh, no, my tree jump ins. And then suddenly it's like, oh no, I'm jumping off here. I'm gonna land in the water. Oh, a game I do want to play? I want to play Shadow of Mordor. It looks like a badass game, and hopefully I'll be getting it for Christmas. Because honestly, I, I don't buy new games. I am the bargain gamer. When I'm shopping for myself, usually it, I'm buying like anything on a Steam sale, $10 and under. Generally, I'm buying games. Unless it's something I really want, I may stretch up to 20 bucks. But that's very rare. Uh, going around. Oh, see, there wasn't a round on there. Wasn't sure. And yep. we're doing feathers, feather catchings. Yeah, so that's my ideal. Uh, let's come around. 